peace to those who are subscribed to this channel, who are true subscribers and followers of Hamashiach, especially. I thank y'all for each and every one of you. And today I am going to speak about something that definitely needs to be talked about. Okay, so stay tuned. Shalom. All right, welcome back, guys. I made a video, but I decided not to upload that video because I was wearing shades. I was sitting outside, and some things could be seen in the background that I did not want to be shown. Um, people um, in other places and their homes, and I did not want to show that. All right, so um, today I am going to just you know, I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible. I first want to say once again, welcome to those who are here, who are regular subscribers, who regularly listen, those who may come by on occasion, um, or occasionally, um, you're welcome. All right. If you are here looking for, you know, drama and mess or another extension of it, this is not the place. Okay, if you have been aware of this channel and for some reason you decided not to subscribe or not to to watch, but you're here listening to this, um, please don't subscribe. I'm not looking for subscribers. I'm not looking for view counts. I'm not looking for likes or dislikes. Like or dislike if you'd want if you want to, but I am stating that that's not my intention or my motive. All right. So, what is the intention and the intent of this? Uh, share and what is my motive my motive is as always to present truth to present information that can help us as the african diaspora have the best transition to the continent be it permanent be it a visit be it you know business whatever your uh, purpose is my goal is to help us to make the best transition possible and to also help us to relate with one another and with those on the African continent in the best way that we that I can possibly help. Do I know it all? Absolutely not. I am still learning. I'm learning from many of you. All right. But what I have learned in almost 20 years, next year will be 20 years. I will share that, be it good, bad, ugly, um, and jacked up. Okay. And so in life, you have all of those experiences. And I want to share what I have learned not only from my own experiences, but watching others in the same good, bad, ugly, and jacked up situations, okay? So today I wanna to talk about the peaceful ones and the messy ones, okay? Are you one of the peaceful ones or are you one of the messy ones? Alliance with those who in America, you wouldn't even want as neighbors. You know they messy, okay? Not only in their natural lives, but just, just physically, just everything about them is just messy. Attitude, the language, the way they carry themselves, the things they do, the places they go, the, the, the things and their actions, just everything about them is messy. You would not be friends with them in the US. You would not necessarily be enemies with them, but if you saw them, the most that you would normally do is wave them good morning and good evening and go in your house, okay? So why is it do we feel that because we are on the African uh, continent that we have to buddy-buddy with people who are always in some mess and who are always fueling some mess or, you know, keeping stuff going showing just how immature they are in their conversation, in their behavior, in their selfishness, in their self motives to, to gain and to, you know, knock other people out of place so that they can get in that place. Everybody fighting to be the HNIC, looking for leaders. We don't need leaders, okay? You're an individual, okay? By now, Something should have been leading you to this African continent, okay? Hopefully it was the most high, okay? Or if it's just a decision that you believe that you made because it's the best decision for you, it's your good conscience, conscience that should have been leading you to the African continent, not someone else. And so when you arrive on the continent, you should not surrender your good conscience, your uh, what you call uh, the leading, what leads you, you shouldn't surrender that to someone else. All right. Secondly, I want to say that, you know, there are people who 
um, who just hate peace, all right? And they hate truth, and they hate those who, who are peaceful, and they hate those who speak truth. And so oftentimes they try to eliminate those who are speaking truth because they know they cannot overrule them, they, or they can't, uh, how should I say, persuade them to come on their side. They know that they cannot, and they can't overrule them too. You can't overrule the truth. You can do nothing against the truth, but only for the truth, as the word of Yah says. But what they will try to do is in some way turn others against those who are speaking the truth, okay? If they cannot befriend you and nullify you, okay, neutralize you, quiet you, because that's one of their tactics to befriend you and then try to quiet you. If they cannot do that, then they will try to ostracize you. And how do they do that? Through lies, through uh, insinuations, by making statements with the intent to plant lies in your mind, to with the intent to plant uh, thoughts in your mind, negative things in your mind about that person without saying that this person is involved in this or this person is involved with that, but to deter you from that person. For example, I have witnessed people intentionally try to sabotage other people's business by using a fictional or just a general example of someone, you know, who has done something wrong or insinuating for example, with me, okay, let's just say this. I have not personally had anyone to say that my business has cheated anyone or anyone. In fact, no one will say that. No one on YouTube can truly or off YouTube can truly honestly say that I have ever cheated uh, anyone in any way, um, deceived anyone, stolen any money or anything. Bring themselves if that's the case, okay? Because that ain't the case. I can promise you that is not the case. I have no concern about that whatsoever. Any money that someone would have ever said that I stole from them, they should bring that bill, okay? In the situation, I will raise them, okay? The amount that they said, pay them the amount that they said, plus raise them, okay? Because there, it doesn't exist, all right? So, but what I'm saying is I've seen people intentionally sabotage other people's business by in making up a fictional or making a, a generalized statement. Like if you're going to buy such and such, make sure that you, you know, do this or make sure you do that. Insinuating that if you use other people's services, that you may be cheated. Now, they don't have any facts to that, uh, to support that, but it's just with the intent to sow seeds in your mind. Secondly, okay, there is no Ghana Gambia beef that I am aware of. Perhaps, you know, some people in Ghana can tell me about it or Gambia, but I haven't seen any signs of any Ghana Gambia beef or people from Ghana and Gambia fighting. But there are those who are trying to sow seeds and trying to stir up mess and trying to, uh, to make it seem like there is you know, this Ghana, Gambia, you know, dispute going on. Okay. Third, I don't know of people in Ghana who are fighting. I'm not in Ghana at the moment, but I don't know of any diasporans in Ghana who are fighting. But if you listen to videos and you watch people when they're trying to, to make themselves look good, they'll say things like the same thing is going on in Ghana. And I'm like, I've been in Ghana all these years. I don't know everyone. But, you know, I think I am aware of some people, but who are they talking about? Because I don't know anyone, any diasporans in Ghana who are fighting. All right. I don't. I've seen diasporans go through real situations in Ghana. I've seen them grow. I've seen them mature. I've seen them, you know, be misused by others and still grow from that, come out of that and, you know, are thriving and doing well. And I'm very proud of them. I've seen others to come and, you know, they're doing their own thing. It may not be what we may want to do. And sometimes we may ask, why are they doing that? But it's making them happy. Right. So the fact that they're being they're happy and they're not bothering anyone makes me happy as well. So I'm happy for my fellow diasporans who are in Ghana. Like I said, I'm not in Ghana now, but I've spent almost 
20 years coming back and forth from Ghana, living in Ghana. My son attended school um, in elementary school. He also some sometime uh, in Ghana. He sp uh, spent some uh, time in JSS in Ghana. I've homeschooled in Ghana. I mean, he is here on the African continent at this time, at the time of this recording, but he's a mature, responsible ad adult with his own career. But Africa is uh, part of both of us, right? In in all those years, I can tell you, I haven't seen any diasporans fighting. I'm sure people have normal disputes, but the way people describe it, you would think to, in order to justify their bad behavior, they'll say the same thing is going on in Ghana. The same thing is going on in this place. The same, I, I don't see any of that, right? And I'm glad that I don't see it. That means to me, I don't hang around in those circles. Now, are there some people in Ghana who ha I have witnessed on the internet attempting to attack others, attempting to discredit others by using these, you know, fictitious examples or examples that, you know, they with the intent of trying to turn you away from other people's businesses or trying to uh, turn you away from, you know, whatever it is they want to turn you away from. Yeah, I've seen that messy stuff, right? I've seen it. I've even seen people use just general statements, which I know was with the intent of trying to turn people away from possibly using my business. But no one, like I said, can ever present themselves in truth and say that I have ever, ever, ever misled anyone, cheated anyone, or done anything unethical on or offline. Because for some people, their only opportunity to do business is online. Okay, I've had businesses offline and I'm doing, I have businesses with websites that are online, okay? So this is not my, my source of income, okay? It may be a way, one stream of income, but if you've listened to the channel, I've stated that the channel is shadow banned, and so I've seen the, the income that has been coming in just go down, right? And it's go, it goes back up, but it also goes down as well. I've had money sitting on account I mean, is that I didn't even know was there. And I'm talking over a thousand dollars that was sitting. I had no idea was on an account on one of my channels. OK, so I'm not depending on YouTube. But if you are someone who's doing business on YouTube, please know that there will be people who will attack you. There will be people who will poison others against you for selfish motives and selfish gains. All right. These are the messy ones. And don't feel that you are obligated to befriend them so that you won't be attacked or befriend them because, you know, they have a large following or they may have a small following. Whatever the motive is for them attacking you, if you're a person of truth, I guarantee you that is the motive to attack the truth. So stand strong, okay? And please know that I'm enjoying my peace and I will continue to enjoy my peace. No one will disturb that peace. And I encourage my fellow diasporans, don't waste time with people that you would normally not give, you know, I won't say the time of day to, but that you normally would not invest a lot of time in. You would not bring certain people around those that you really respect. They don't know how to behave. They don't know how to communicate with one another. Their whole disposition is contrary to who you are by nature. They are antichrist. If they're not attacking, you know, some truth, they're attacking your faith. Why would I, you know, want to associate with someone who disrespects my faith? If you don't believe what I believe, fine. But I will not sit in, at the feet of those who attack my faith. I won't. Even if I like them. I love my Elohim more. Okay, and so and there have been people who I have I'm thinking of one person right now who at one time, you know, I was subscribed to their channel before they came to the African continent and they made a I'll just say this. They made a, a statement um, about those who have faith and that caused me to withdraw from their channel, even though I like them a lot. But when I say withdraw, I stopped commenting. But because I really really did and i also unsubscribed but then i saw them on another channel and i was so happy that they made it to the african continent and i continued to watch them but i just didn't comment and i've seen them change okay because their intent was not wicked it was just their level of understanding at that time okay and even if their intent was wickedness they have changed all right and so people who don't want to change 
leave them. Some may wake up one day and change and others will remain their wicked selves. You have to know how to walk away. Okay, just walk away. So stay away from the messy ones. Don't do what you would not do in the U.S., in the U.K., in the Caribbean. Don't force relationships that you know you would not normally have if you were back at home. All right? If you're a peaceful one, peaceful people love peace. Sheep only drink from still water. And it doesn't mean that the still waters, you won't have to rebuke somebody. All right? Or talk, deal with them straight. But constantly in mess and constantly got and have turmoil all around you, no, that's messiness, all right? So avoid the messy ones and stay in peace. Shalom.